I apologize. Um, oh, well. Anyway. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the two-hour track challenge. Yeah, you can, Carbonic. So, um, for the sake of brevity, I'm just going to cut all of that before the YouTube thing uh, starts. So, unfortunately, I was trying to get my chat to display on screen and it's not working so unfortunately it's just going to be me talking into the void if you're watching this on youtube and i apologize for that but hopefully yeah i'm not going to do that uh but hopefully um it'll still be entertaining um i will try to read everybody's message which i am responding to so cool or maybe it'll just fix itself while we go so as um as we move forward here, I'll start the timer. I have like one little idea that I wanted to mess with. I was listening to some random music on Spotify and uh, I think we could just get going. Look at that Trevor baby. He's such a pretty kitty. Hi. What's up? Do you by chance have my really super sharp, pokey uh, tweezers? No. Yeah, I don't know where those are. They might be in the bathroom. Yeah. Hey, Dark, how you doing? Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so I have a basic rhythmic idea that I want to that I want to try out. Um, that I heard from another song. Excuse me. So we'll see how that goes. Um, definitely gonna have to figure out. Uh, it also seems like my webcam is darker than usual too. Hey, Ar hey, arcade. How you doing? Um. Yeah, so for people who are joining, chat on screen is kind of screwed up. So, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. So, I'm thinking this is like about 128 BPM. I'm actually really happy with um, the songs that have come out of Season 7 of the 2-Hour Track Challenge. Um, because they've been a little bit more varied when it comes to, uh, like, sounds. Or, like, genres. Um, multi-packs. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a kick drum. Uh, just something basic right now. Do I have like a minimal house bass drum? Sure. That works for now. Um, get something going here. Perfect. Well, I hope everybody's having a great day. I, uh, I can't say that starting with some technical difficulties is that, uh, is that great, but, you know, what are you going to do? So, I was working off of this rhythm. Something like that. <laughs> this song should be called Technocal Difficulties. Um, <laughs> we'll see. I uh, I want to see if this actually works or if we're going to try something else first. So... Something like that, except sounds beefier. Mm-hmm. So I need another layer on this, but I wanted to make sure this works first. And this might be like a, a super popular song that I just had never heard before. I honestly don't know. <laughs> it kind of could be. Those 909 snare rolls. Maybe. Mm. 
just trying to make it sound decent. And I'm having trouble. I guess that octave is probably the best. But this also, I think, relies a lot on layering. I just really liked this rhythm. I, I, I hope I'm not like super plagiarizing somebody. But uh, if I am, I apologize. Plus, it's not like it's rocket surgery here. It is a super co common rhythm, but having the, the extra flare at the end that's a little bit longer. Hey, Madam Barry, how are you? I know that feeling. I, uh, Madam Barry says that she's biting off more than she can chew, and I'm, I'm well familiar with that, uh, with how that goes. I, uh, I, I'm kind of in the same boat lately. Yeah, no, and I I know that some people are gonna come in and be like, hey Ben, your your chat is screwed up. You can't you can't see what I'm writing, and it's like, I'm just trying to stem those as I, uh, <laughs> so I don't have to deal with it. Um, but yeah, I uh, I'm well I'm well aware of how it feels to just bite off more than you can chew and suddenly face a ton of work. I I've actually been. Um, I played Celeste over the past couple days, and uh, it was really refreshing to, like, relax a little bit, as much as one can relax while playing a game that revolves around frustrating platforming. And overall, I liked Celeste. I thought it was really good. Um, but I, I had I had problems, like, relaxing. <laughs> So, yeah, I know how it goes. Okay, that's too much reverb, but you know we're we're getting somewhere. That's the point. I um. I like this. I don't know if I love it yet. I can relax sometimes uh, during the predetermined relaxation zone. Actually, Madam Barry, I didn't find it super difficult. Um, and obviously, I have a different skill ceiling for that type of game. But like compared to Color Jumper, I felt like Celeste was a lot more reasonable. Okay, so I recorded some audio. It was raining earlier. And all the audio I recorded is apparently just wind noise. Hey, Zelgrith. So that's a bit of a bummer.
I'm going to see if I can recover some of this, but most likely it's just kind of... You think they're reasonable in color jumper? Well, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I had a hard time. Like, with Celeste, I know they have the B-sides, and I haven't really gotten into the B-sides yet. Okay, that's a good audio recording right there. The rest of this is meh. I hear you, Barry. Precision platforms aren't uh, a lot of people's strong suit. Um, it's it's a bit of an acquired taste, I, I admit that. Um, but I still think they're fun. There wasn't really much of a theme this time around, pizza. It's uh, just kind of uh, working on... I had this rhythm. I heard this rhythm from a song, and I thought it was really cool, and I wanted to try to make something with it. Um, I'm just not sure where I'm going to go with this. <laughs> I mean, full disclosure, um, I haven't really worked on... I haven't really worked on any music since last week, um, which is you know, bad Ben, but that's a cool pad sound. Sometimes you just gotta take a break. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm doing my best at that right now. These need to be pluckier. That's better. Okay, now now I'm getting like a, a dub tech vibe from this. Yeah, okay. I think we got something now. is not uh, defaulted to two on this. <laughs> Dangly parts. What's that from? Oh, that's from that's from Harvey Birdman. Like a million years ago. I'm so old. That was bendy. It was very bendy pizza. Um, oh, where is the pitch bend? There it is. Pitch bend range. Two. I was trying to go. This has some like 
cool um <laughs> yeah, I know that's the point. Um it's supposed to be awkward out of context. <laughs> I'm having I'm having troubles like relaying what everybody's saying while I'm working, so I'm sorry if I'm a little if I'm a little out of it. Um but yeah. It's all good. like, did I make that too long? I made it too long. Um, and then I can just set this to warp. Can I just set it to warp? I thought I could just, like, selection warp. Nope. It's like, I want to loop that bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, honestly. If it's a offset a little bit, I think that would probably make it cooler. Um, ben step is that the is Ben step the evolution of Ben wave? Because we got to keep that meme going. We see it wouldn't be whispered. Ben wave is whispered. <laughs> BEDM is pretty funny, Carbonic. <laughs> yeah. So I like the sound of this, but it it's like missing some beef. That's better. It's just, it was missing some character and uh, I wanted to change that. So I'm actually gonna do this manually. Just to make sure my pitch bends don't get all gooby again, I'll just go like this. Because the last thing you want is a goopy pitch bend. Come on. Oh my god, mouse, work with me here. Come on. There, jeez. See, in this, in I, I, I like these open spaces because then I can do like a shik 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 sound. Which I'm not gonna sample because that would be dumb. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually find a sample for that. Um, but I think this might end up being uh, the last thing you want is a goopy pitch bend. Put that one on a poster. I don't know. I still have. Um, I still. Oh uh, yeah, my image viewer is screwed up. I still have. Um, I still have this from um, the last stream. <laughs> which I think would be a pretty good poster. <laughs> um, I'm going to I'm going to try to figure that one out cuz that would be that would be a pretty good poster. That might have yeah, that was from the MSIS, you're right. It was from the Saturday stream. No 
So how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. You've only been awake for about 24 minutes, pizza. I, uh, I took a nap and I'm in a similar boat as you are. So I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting juiced up. just getting all this god why does my mouse get stuck sometimes inside of ableton like when i'm doing curves it's actually really annoying fuck it there i don't know why my mouse gets stuck but it's <laughs> It drives me actually crazy. Um, uh, Zelgrith, I'm doing all right. I, uh, I'm a bit tired, but that's okay. Um, so another thing we've been doing lately that I actually kind of dig is adding a little bit of uh, ring modulation to stuff. I need to. I, I need to be better at. Um, Just making things a little bit more, yeah, some glitch mood right there, yeah. That's too loud. Now it's too quiet. So yeah, we can, I, I need to use this more often. I think I used it last week. Um, it in the lead, but uh, I really like that sound and how it can kind of just make things sound super weird. So that's a good start. Um, look at that kitty boy up there. I'm trying to remember on on Saturday we had chat working because I didn't have any issues with the stream then. I didn't I haven't changed anything since then. So I don't I don't know what happened. Um but it actually bums me out a lot because chat interaction is a huge part of this. And granted, you know, when it's live it's it's a little bit more important for chatter interaction. So as much as I love my YouTube's people, uh, I use uh, Streamlabs right now. And the URL in Streamlabs isn't working, which is why um, I think it's on Streamlabs end because the notifications for like subscriptions and donations and stuff is still uh, functional. It's just the chat isn't working. Huh. Okay, well, I'll troubleshoot it after the stream. So it seems like we have a lot of knobs we can mess with uh, for getting some expression out of that lead, which is great. Um, 
honestly, this is more of a pad than an ambient thing. Which is cool. I'll just pink it up. Try to stay organized here, you know. It's not going to work in the long run, but, you know, I, make, I can make me feel good about myself in the short term. Um... <clears throat> Okay, so let's get some uh, some layers for this drum. I don't think we need anything too crazy. I actually want to keep the the drums pretty quiet. Take care, Toxic. Yeah, have a good one, man. It feels... It feels like... Feels like weirdly delayed. Maybe it's just the sample. This, this might be going a little too far, but... Yeah, it's going too far. Um, maybe with a different... Something a little bit more subtle. I like these because they have like panning to them. But I'm sure that's because they're stolen from a bunch of different songs. That's better. There's a couple ways we can take this. Um, I, I like where it's going. I mean, it's all just building layers at this point, but it's... Uh, one thing I realized with my arpeggios is they never really go... They never start, like, top and go down. They always go, like, bottom to top. So I'm going to try... I'm 
I'm gonna try something different. Oh yeah, right. This is two bars, not one bar. Do weird arps? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And I also don't, um, don't do them as like sparkle, like what they sometimes should be. So let's just try this. Oops, um, high pass. Actually, no, let's try a band pass. The other thing I can do with this uh, like basic rhythm is the really standard chord progression for like a lot of EDM. And uh, just bear with me for a second while I get this figured out. Want a weird chord progression? Yeah, sure, pizza. I don't know if it'll work in this one, but I'd love to hear it. No, it's dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so... Got, uh, I got some things wrong here, but that's okay. C minor, D. E minor, F minor. That's an interesting, like... I don't know if it would work for this song, but I really like that. So, I mean, this is like really basic chord progression. Uh, except it falls apart. I don't think I want to do that, though. I, I kind of like the idea, and a lot of the dub tech music kind of just sticks on one theme and just kind of explores that space. And I really like that. So I'm going to keep building layers here, and I'm not going to start with all these layers. They're going to kind of add on. Throughout the track. Yeah. Yeah, so let's just go like this. And like this, that's what I want.
That's it's a subtle add, but I really like it. So with the clap, the the pre delay gives it a bit of a a bit of space between the the strike and the actual thing. So it gives it it gives it a, a stronger feeling. I need to figure out how many milliseconds are in like a. Two hundred and thirty four milliseconds, so this should be two, three, four. Boop. This is one hundred and twenty eight beats per boops per minute. Interesting. I uh, I mean, what I do is I just go into here and I measure out a beat. I measure out a uh, a length of time in the bottom corner. At the bottom, it says duration zero colon zero zero colon one one seven. So this sixteenth uh, or eight thirty second note, sixteenth note, whatever, it's a uh, point one one whatever milliseconds. So that's how I find it. I don't need to do math. No, math isn't hard. I like math. I just don't have time to do it right now. Um, Well, once I get, once I get like partner status on Twitch or whatever, then I'll uh, I'll make a forty-four point one emoji. Who that tension though. I, uh, I actually really like math. Yeah, add nine is right here. And then this is kind of resolving it right here. So they're both in there. I do like the add nine. I did it. Uh, I think I did it last week too. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like taking the same ideas and exploring them in different genres. It feels. So I have kind of the basic one. It's a little. Uh... Okay, so I need another um, another pad, and when it comes to when it comes to dub tech stuff or whatever this genre is, I I call it dub tech because it's a little more minimal. But like I always go back to like Color Jumper and like all the stuff that I did in Color Jumper, and it's like I could just do that stuff forever. Cause it's so much fun. Yep. 
A plus would trigger again. So just building a lot of building a lot of layers right here. Oh, nice carbonic. Um, by the way, if anybody is watching this on YouTube, the two-hour album challenge is the first weekend in August. Please, please, please consider checking it out if you're a musician. Um, it will be at 2hac.abstractionmusic.com uh, for more info. I'd put the link in chat so you could view it, but you wouldn't be able to see chat. So... Yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited for the two hour album challenge. I think that uh, last time kind of blew my expect ex my expectations away, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how everything comes together this time. So I want to add like a little bit of Redux, just like a touch of it, to see if I can uh, put some juice on this. Oh yeah. BPM slowly carbonic maybe I don't know I like having songs that are good to dance to I and that's something that I'm not always super strong at is making songs that are like danceable or <laughs> it's just like hey this song is in 13 8 time or whatever good luck fucker um so I kind of want to do more I like songs that you can dance to I just have never been really good at it. Why are you worried about this 2HAC pizza? Oh. I mean... To be perfectly fair, and you know, this might not be saying a whole lot, but I haven't, aside from the two hour track challenge, I have not done a ton of music myself. So, um, just because you haven't worked on anything in a while is, is no, no reason to be worried. I think that there's a, there's a wide variety of skill levels and, you know, people who only do music once in a while. So I think that it's totally okay. Everybody will be all right. Um, I haven't used the spring box pack in a while. When in doubt, Paul, stretch a fart. <laughs> How true you are. I, my plan is to release a new sample pack every month until I get sick of releasing sample packs. So yes, I have, I have a couple things prepared or planned. We'll see how they pan out. Yeah, I, my goal for a very long time, or at least for the past couple months, which might be considered a very long time, 
um, is to always be working on a. <laughs> yeah, yeah, having having a little bit of a riser. I'm just kind of going through the the sound packs now and see if I can grab a couple sounds that uh, that might work well. I actually think that if I group this, I can kind of oh layered grouping. Thank you, Papa Ableton. Yeah, so all I'm doing right now is I'm just adding, adding tons and tons of layers. And this is something that I would honestly, I need to get better at and just learn how to do layering and, and kind of getting everything. Uh, because I, I really like the process of layering and getting everything, everything all mushed together into this kind of amalgam of something new and fresh. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what that's kind of what my goal is this time. So if this song is kind of flat as it comes to progressions, I'm okay with that. I think that I think that the more important more important exploration in this song is to kind of make things sound interesting all the way through, even if the progression is kind of the same throughout. <laughs> So another thing that I want to do is uh, actually no, it'd probably be better if I uniform this. I think I don't know. This is something I don't do often enough, but getting something like. <laughs> Whoa. Like this, like, super deep. This is like, uh, fucking psychedelic trance. That is a wub berry. You are correct. <laughs> but it's perfect for this song because it's going to go right here. So... Yep, it's a Ben Wub. Thank you, Zelgroth. It 
does need a name. You're all right, Pizza. We are almost an hour in. So traditionally, this is about the time we give the song the name. So. The auto pan experiment. Have I used, I guess I have used auto pan quite a bit in this one, haven't I? I don't know why I have ambient MIDI. I'm not going to use techno cal difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> as funny as it is, I um, I uh, I don't know. That one just doesn't resonate with me. I don't think Ben Webb is a uh, is appropriate for this one either. Not trying to shoot you guys down. Just uh I just need different suggestions. Shooting chat down is not a song name. Maybe the experiment is, experiment is not actually using Autopen as much as you usually do. Uh, I use it a lot. I'll admit to that. Rhythm, though. Holy shit. Um, yeah, we need to think of a name for this, though, because that's going to kind of define where this song goes. <clears throat> what are some words that I've heard lately? Mid-afternoon run, that's not bad. Syncopation is a little too literal of a name. I do kind of like mid-afternoon run. See, the thing is with the with the song name, and I've talked about this before, with, with the song name, it kind of defines the, the high-quality shit post. That's pretty funny, Pizza. I almost want to do that one. I think I think mid-afternoon run is a good one, though. Um, because that kind of that kind of paints a picture of what exactly is happening for this. So I'm going to do that. Creative exploration with garden sound. What's that mean? You didn't see that. Actually, I don't care if you did, because it's going to get posted probably on Monday. Um, I just need to actually, you know, cut it up and cut it up and put it to a video. High quality shit post also describes what's happening. What are you talking about? This is a great song. Actually, this is like. Uh, link the image that I showed earlier. I don't have it online anywhere. I only have it. I only have it on my desktop right here. But here. Isn't it? It is beautiful. It's the most beautiful statement. Yeah. 
She's very good at that. So the problem with this is that it's very bassy. Um, and we don't want the bass, we just want the, the grumble. Not the grundle, the grumble. It's okay, Zelgrith put Zelgrith put problem in quotes. The problem is that if I have four bass instruments trying to play at the same time, all we're going to get is mud at the at the low end, and that's just going to require me to EQ it a bunch more later. The fact that it holds up pretty well without any kind of lead is, is promising. Yeah, well, even if the mid-afternoon run is happening in the mud, that doesn't mean we need to make a bad song intentionally. <laughs> okay, let's do some arranging on this since we're about an hour in. Um, I'm totally down, honestly, for making this song like eight minutes long, and I think we could we could really do that with uh, with some clever builds and and everything like that. So, and honestly, if this is our lead, we can we can do a lot with that too. So, I think what I want to do is I need to figure out how I want to kind of put this together. Because we've got our we've got our blocks here. We've got our eight bar loop, and we can work on kind of putting this together into something that's fifty minutes of improvisation. Yeah, yeah. I'll do <laughs> listen. It could happen. I mean. And just like go. I mean, yeah, it, it would actually work pretty well. Is this the Oh yeah, okay, you found it good. So yes, this is the the thing. I I might actually make that into a uh I might make that into a poster. I think that that's pretty damn good. Um So how do these songs start? That is the question. So <laughs> um start like that <laughs> No, this isn't a dead mouse song, John. John said uh just four on the floor kicks for a minute. No, it has to be the the ambient pad or not the ambient pad. 5 months from today is Christmas. Yeah, John, I'm I'm aware it's a DJ thing. Um uh I was a DJ or I am a DJ once in a while. Um and having those kicks on there 
Well, come on. Like, I was listening to Animal Rights the other day. The the like the mashup between Dead Mouse and somebody who I can't remember. Literally, the first minute of that song is a drum loop, and it's like I understand. I love that song. That song. I got time. That that song actually has like mechanically the 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 rhythm. It's it's broken up into the same rhythm that we have here. It's dot 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 like this, but each one of this, each one of these is also broken up into one. So it's like it's like this weird fractal. It's like this weird fractal of a song. It's it's super cool. I, I, I can't really explain it well, but like I was listening to it and it's just like the 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 main rhythm has the same rhythm inside of that rhythm. It's it's really kind of strange to listen to. Exactly. Um, so with this, I'm just going to have it like that. Oops. Like this. All right. Oh, come on. Oh, no, it's two. Yeah, it's, it's a bit like that. Um, so after, after I kind of get going with all that, Take care, Zelgrith. Have a safe drive. Um, after I get going with all that, then I can start arranging this. then we can kind of like bring in some stuff as this goes. Uh, not that one though. Yeah, obviously we're going to we're going to work on you know, making this a little bit more interesting as things go on. So all of this will get duplicated out. Let's go like this and have like this. None of that. Ambient pad. Um, what about this pad? Okay. That goes. That goes. Just kind of playing it by ear right now. Actually, let's go like that. <clears throat> We're just kind of building this out right now. Um, if we want to do this, is a bit of a breakdown here, actually. Go like that.
So the, the thing I was thinking of is I could just take this single thing and I can just get like seven different instruments that all kind of just play it at different octaves and different timbres. And I think that that would be pretty cool. layer of violin section with that rhythm how do you think that would work ah yeah like i see what you're saying like have it have like a big build up for it that would be, that would be pretty cool let's uh let's kind of get the <laughs> right pitch bends on a glockenspiel don't really work um the same way. <laughs> so another thing I'm thinking is we can like evolve the, um, we can evolve the melody every time it loops. That might be kind of fun too. So yeah, let's uh, um, operator lead, Glock lead. Let's um, let's like like make four or five different instruments that we can bounce, bounce the melody through. That would be pretty cool. Um, Sonic Ocean. I feel like this one would work pretty well if I can find a good. The problem with these sonic things is that uh, sometimes they're sometimes they're not very tonal. No, I agree. I think having I think having like a a super like rich brass and string section come in. having some like weird overlap between okay so Let's make a new group here called Build Up. And um, let's do Brass, Strongs. Um, and we'll just toss some basic 
things in here. I might not be thinking the same thing you're thinking. Um, we'll see. Actually, let's go to the string library because I think that that'll... going to play that. Gotcha. Okay. I thought when you were talking about build up, I thought you were talking about like these long pads and stuff. Um, that makes a little bit more sense. I did want to get these chords because I like these chords. So I'm going to just chuck these over to the side. So I'm going to have to find a staccato uh, brass. But getting something like this might be cool. It's very loud. <laughs> It has like, yeah, it kind of sucks. Not anything against like your idea. I just don't think, I just don't think I have the right tools to handle this right now. Sustain. Oh, for fuck's sake. So if we take this, and uh, do the rhythm with it. I 
know, it's kind of kind of cheating to do it this way, but I'm lazy. right because this is not the right melody um or the right rhythm because i'm dumb i'm not with it today i apologize it's like why doesn't this look like it works because it don't work ah <sighs> you gotta try stuff to realize it doesn't work So I guess there's that. What is playing? Hey, baseline, get out of here. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure how that'll fit in, um, but I'm I'm getting distracted. I shouldn't be doing this right now, to be honest. <laughs> But I'm curious. That's kind of neat, but I'm going to work on what I know works. So I'm just going to toss that over there. If we can get to it, we'll get to it. But with 42 minutes left, making this song eight minutes long is going to be tough. Um, Especially since a lot of this is kind of like the the micro transitions, transitions, transitions. I said I, I I half jokingly said that I wanted it to be eight minutes long because uh, because I feel like it has the strength to be that way, but when it comes to actually, God, come on, Ableton, stop fucking around. Um, microtransactions in music yeah I know right okay so I'm going to add a ping pong delay here but only triggering on the high end So none of the low end will trigger, but yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to put in loot boxes.
Oh, I have an alarm going off. I'll be back in one second. I'm going to play this. something. Dang it. video that Minute Physics posted yesterday or the day before about turning sugar cubes into caramel cubes uh, by doing a slow caramelization process in the oven rather than on the stovetop. And um, I tried that, and uh, I think I left them in a little too long because they melted, because um, I really wanted to try it, and it sounds so sounds so cool. Um, I might give it another, yeah, yeah, I might give it another shot at some point, but right now, I gotta make a song. said I wasn't carbonic. <laughs> I'm very much a nerd. <clears throat> well, I like cook I like cooking. I, I I'll get it right. I I just I think I just left them in a little too long. They tend they melted. So they're still caramel. Um they're just not caramel cubes, they're caramel puddles. <laughs> It, it's also possible that the sugar cubes that I used weren't pure sugar and they were cut with something else um, because they're just the generic stuff. So that's possible too. Um, <laughs> I wish I could play D&D someday. <laughs> Marinating chicken takes a while. Yeah, I, uh, my Christine and I might just, uh, do our. Song is making you super hype for streams for the two-hour album challenge. Yeah, man, I uh, I'm I'm really excited too.
I actually really like that rhythm. I just need to make everything else fit with it. God, that rhythm is so good. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna shorten these. God, it's so, so good. Wrong type of ride symbol. There it is. Ride symbols make everything better. This needs to change. The rest of the top end can pretty much stay the same, I think. Use the actual pin. But uh, that gets gets an okay hand from me. Um...
like it. I mean, it's a lot of layers to manage, so I like I'm not I'm definitely not going to get as far as I want to. But I'm gonna just keep uh, I'm just gonna keep banging on this because uh, hell yeah, um, like in a perfect world I would also like change all of these samples around so they're not the same. Um, but this isn't a perfect world we live in. Cats and dogs exist, so it's basically a perfect world. You know, you got me there. I didn't think of that. Get out of here. I do like the idea of adding this stuff, so... Ableton is just destined to screw me over today. Come on. Hit the right note at least. Why does that sound off? Doesn't sound off now. I must have fixed it. It's like, no, no, rhythmically off. Honestly, we were getting by pretty well without even, without even doing this stuff. So let's see what happens when we just kind of kill that for the, for the time being. And then we can kind of go back to the, to the main melody and.
It's getting there. I'm, I'm, oh my god. Fucking Ableton, why? I'm having some problems today, guys. <laughs> Like, my mouse is freaking out now. sticking around a lot longer than it should you know honestly this can probably go away too Fade it all out. Actually, we can fade this out a little earlier. And I mean, I hate doing it this way, but I'm a little pressed for time. Perfect. <clears throat> Oops. That is, yeah, that loop point is off. That's why everything sounds so fucked up. Um, that's okay. Having things shifted over a little bit maybe is a good thing? Probably not, because now it's all going to sound like butts. Happy accident there. Uh, 
that super happy accident because that works flipping perfectly. Uh, we can get rid of this stuff. Hey, I'm creative. How you doing, man? I'm doing the same thing that it screwed everything up with last time, so it's eight zero zero there. Actually, I don't like some of that. I like most of it. There we go. So we've got kind of a, a middle section here. Just kind of adding a little bit more layer to this. Bends, right? Yep. Oops. And then just going to kind of do the same thing again. Except make it better. Kind of wrapping up the stream. I hope everybody's doing well. And I hope you have a good rest of the week as well. I know we got like 15 minutes left. A lot can happen in 15 minutes with these types of songs, but. thing in a sense it might feel left out I can do a really really quiet pad with the really quiet pad with the melodica I think that might help
just for the sake of uh, adding the melodica, because it sounds great. Way in the background. This groove too much. I don't think I'm going to repeat it another time, but I do want to. I do want to just kind of let it ride for a bit and see uh, see uh, how it feels. So take this. Okay. Um, I don't know if this will work, but adding like another little thing kind of that comes in at the end might uh, really tie the room together, you know? Okay, I had it wrong. It's like this. <laughs> Let's make it feel a little bit more off kilter. So this needs a little bit more juice to it, but I think that'll help. Uh, when it comes to songs like these, it's good to introduce an element near the end to help ease the transition between, if we're doing a DJ thing, uh, between the, the current track and the new track.
So let's bring in some of these more, some of these instruments. And uh, just add a couple notes. You might think I'm adding these randomly. You're kind of right. Pretty kitty boy up there. Give himself a bath. Okay, so. So we can start working on bringing this down energy-wise. Hey, the cat's back. So we can join these. And um, let's just go back to the basic melody again. It feels like it's off. Because it is off. That's how you properly end an EDM track. This is how you improperly end an EDM track. And you properly end it on tension. Just so you know. Resolve your loops, people. I think we're done. Um, obviously, I actually, I actually really want to come back to this one. This might be, this might be a bonus stream at some point. Um, I am going to do a quick mastering job on this though. Um, uh, right about here. Yeah, 
that's how it goes. My mastering jobs kind of are not the best. Time's up. Giving it a little bit more of a pulse helps. Cool. I think we're done. Let us listen to the whole song. out. That's exactly why I didn't use the giant. Plus I like Uno Corner. It has a it has a really neat sound to it. And I don't use it often enough. that I used operators in some of the places here. Not in all of them. I used analog a lot, apparently. I thought I used operator more. Well, I guess I lied. I used it, like, once somewhere. Thank you. There it is. That's where I used operator.
Actually, I should uh, Yeah. I like it. Uh, so yeah, that is today's two hour track challenge. This one turned out pretty dang cool. I'm actually really proud of all of the two hour track challenges we've done this season so far. They've been, they've been super unique in, in ways that I'm not like used to. Um, like daylight Grove was super cool. Minimal house lyrics was cool. And it, enigmatic nights, uh, was was also they're all like super unique so that uh that makes me happy that like last season season six was a lot of like down tempo and chill out which is cool and i'm totally okay with that but i think that having um hey meth mouse how you doing uh having having the the variety is super cool and the oh thank you so much i'm, I'm glad you like it i uh this will be up on youtube shortly and um, if you wanted to get in touch with me outside of the stream, you could hit me up on Twitter at Ben underscore Burns. That's B-U-R-N-E-S. Um, yeah, take care, take care, Dark. I really appreciate that. Uh, hanging out. Uh, thank you, uh, Pizza. Oh, dude, yeah. Uh, Meth Mouse, uh, swing over to the Discord that, uh, that Pizza just linked. You can go if you are watching on YouTube. Um, there is a link to the Discord down in the video description. Um, but the Discord contains lots and lots of people who are very cool and uh, always willing to help out if you are a newbie or if you just have questions about a certain type of music. There's a there's a wide swath of creative people there that uh, I really appreciate. Everybody's hanging out. Oh, there's a cat. Oh, and then my bot spammed the Discord too. Oh, there. Yeah, he doesn't want to be here. <laughs> um, also, if you are a content creator and you make music or video games, you make videos or video games, um, swing over to the... Yeah, I don't have many commands. YouTube is just youtube.com slash Ben underscore Burns. Um... Uh, I have a Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Ben underscore Burns, and that will give you access to download this song and the 150 prior to our track challenges, along with a content or with a patron exclusive album and a bunch of other stuff. Yep, there's a cat butt. That's cool. Um, and uh, yeah, so thank you so much for tuning in and watching the stream. I actually really enjoyed this track. Uh, this one was a lot of fun. So um, I will see you around, hopefully on the Discord or on Twitter or on Patreon or one of the other many social media services out there. Thank you so much. You just subbed, but the, the thing didn't go off. The alert didn't go off. That bums me out. Or did you, no, did you sub to the uh, the YouTube channel? Okay. I'm like, my Streamlabs is all borked up today. Um, so... That's why there's no chat. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thanks, thank, bleh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope y'all have a good rest of the day. And so forth. There it is. Ended it on a high note. All right, Meth Mouse. This uh, this outro song's for you. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the normal video outro, and I'm gonna play you some piano. Thank you so much for hanging out, and uh, I hope you have a good rest of the day. Take care. All right, music, go away. It's piano time.
<laughs> Kitty, get off my desk. so much for hanging out i really appreciate it now now it's just going to be a black screen welcome to the black screen screen stream everybody where i just talk into the void okay i'm gonna go i don't know why i just waved at the camera see you guys later <laughs>